right now, when we hit the button, it turns green. Once it turns green, it means it's actually ready to go. Now I have all three boom switches and then this red button now functions. So as you can tell, once we turned it on, we got to go back up. So we'll adjust the pressure back up. And once you see it start moving, usually it's a good time to get your finger off. Yeah, I guess I was just thinking. And what we're going to end up doing now is I'm gonna, we're going to go through this sprayer calibration point. So the first thing we do is do our catch test. After the catch test, we go in here, we expand our sprayer controller, put those back down so we can see. So right here on this flow meter, it's going to give us the wizard. It's the flow wizard calibration. It's a step-by-step -step tells you what to basically do. Um, right now it says activate the master, turn on the pump in any sections you require. We're doing all three of them. We hit the master and it goes green because it's virtual. Hit the next button. Hit the red nozzle and we're spraying right now. Now what we're able to keep track of is over here it says 42 PSI, which is what we were spraying at to get that catch. What we'll watch is we'll watch this timer to go to five minutes. The way the math adds up is what we're trying to do is getting a qualified amount over a certain period of time. So one gallon per minute nozzle, we have 12 nozzles, means we're spraying 12 gallons per minute out of the unit. Now we're going to do it over a period of five minutes so we can get really any variances out. Once we get through that five minute process, we're going to, we're going to stop it and then we're going to hit the green arrow which will turn your green and it will automatically calibrate the flow meter for us. So no more adjusting numbers up and down, things like that. So the only thing we need to mainly watch is make sure that 42 PSI stays right about there. The plus and minus here are the manual control of the pump. So if for some reason it slightly dips or go, you know, goes up or down, yeah, we can adjust it. Once we hit that time limit, we will tick this green button on the bottom right, which is obviously is our master button. So you see the yellow arrow turns up. We hit it. Enter the amount of volume captured. Again, the math equates to 60 gallons. We hit the check mark. Check next to continue. Boom. So the percent difference between what we calibrated that compared to now is 3.43 percent, um, and it gives you your pulses per gallon or what your flow meter sees per gallon. Hit the green arrow. Okay, all good. 